Hello and welcome to part 3 of this H3VR modding tutorial. Um, in this part we are going to be basically importing one of the game's existing firearms and using that as a starting point uh, for our own firearm. Um, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and create a folder for um, where our imported asset bundles from the game are going to end up. So I'm just going to name this folder Imported Bundles just inside the, the project directory. Um, and so now that we have that folder, we should go up and go to Meet Kit, and then Asset Bundles, and then Import. Um, so from here you want to navigate to the H3VR uh, game folder, and then go to H3VR Data, and then Streaming Assets. And in this folder is basically all of the game's uh, like asset files. Um, and since we are making an SMG, uh, we're going to go ahead and grab uh, all of the guns in the game that are SMGs. So that's going to go ahead and uh, convert the asset bundle to work with our project. Um, in the meantime, I'll open up our imported bundles folder and also open up um, that folder that we were just in, because when you import, uh, it looks like it's done. Um, the The file will end up right next to uh, the original file, just have imported at the end. So we'll go ahead and cut that and move that into the imported bundles uh, location. And now from here, um, we can go up to Meet Kit uh, and then Asset Bundles and open up the Prefab Loader tool. Um, so that's just docked over here, and we can go ahead and select the asset bundle that we just imported. And so now we need to figure out um, what gun we want to be basing this off of. Um, so one thing to consider is that this gun has a folding stock, so it would be nice to have to select a gun that already has a folding stock. And this is also a closed bolt gun, so we should select a closed bolt gun for starting. So we'll go to SMG closed bolt, and then uh, I believe the PP91 has a folding stock and it's closed bolt, so we'll go ahead and press spawn now that we have that selected. And we'll move this to the world origin, and now you can see we have a gun. This is from the game. And from here, um, it may look like this is here, but as soon as we close Unity and open it up again, um, all of the model is going to be gone. And also, because of how we did this, the uh, all of the script references for the game are also going to be gone. So there's a trick to get this to stay um, and save it. What we want to do is we want to actually enter play mode. And then pause the game. And then we want to spawn our object. So now we have the PP91 in the game. And then you want to create a prefab of that down here. And then unpause or unplay. Um, so now we have a prefab, we'll drag that, or no, first we'll rename this. Uh, this gun is the OTS-22, so we'll name that. And then we'll move that out of here. And now, when you close Unity and reopen it up, this stuff should be here. I'll go ahead and apply so that this is linked. And now from here, let me move this to the world origin again. You'll see that we have no mesh but all of the other important information is here. We can open this up and see basically this whole firearm prefab is all set up, except for the meshes and stuff. Um, so now in the next part, we'll go ahead and move our mesh into this hierarchy and kind of re-align uh, all of the physics boxes and all of the moving parts so that it works like our gun does.